previously on The Walking Dead. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. People's awake. Solamente está confundido. Mama. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Hands up. Close your eyes. Thanks. Mori! Oh, shit! Kate! Javi, don't! Hey. What do we call you? Sorry, forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? Holy shit. What the hell's going on out here? Oh my god. Just gonna get that propane and then come right back. I, I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little, in front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it, and that we didn't have to risk life and limb every damn day for food and water and gas for the stove. I can do this myself, you know. Not too late for you to turn around. Who's gonna watch your back if I'm not here? Besides, I can't just pull up in this house forever. I need... I need to get used to being out here. Okay. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> Fingers crossed. There it is! Let's take it and go. shit. I just thought this one time we deserve to catch a fucking break. It's okay. I want 
wanted to kill it. I really did, but I know him. That was one of Gabe's friends. True. He was so sweet. He always had a smile on his face. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sure he was a, a good kid. He's not a kid anymore. He's just... one of those things. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not people, if they're just the dead, <sighs> muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. I'm right here, okay? I'm here, you're here, we're still alive. That's what matters. Can we go back now? I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back, but it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there. For an empty can. There's gotta be a safer place out there. So... We'll leave. Go somewhere else. Somewhere safer. Somewhere with crazy thick walls, okay? And a gate that's 20 feet tall. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. A and if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cabe. We're safe inside the house. A and I bet we can find more food in the neighborhood if we just look harder. We're tired of being afraid every time we leave you guys alone. And it's just getting worse out there. Better to leave now. Well, we still can. But what about Dad? What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? We might never find him again. Your dad would want us to do this game. He'd want us to survive. We've been surviving. Here. At home. Barely. I'm sorry, Gabe. But... Javi's right. Uh, how about you guys go and I stay here? You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just ask my friends. Gabe? Honey? What? What's, what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? Uncle Javi? She's sad. Because when we were out, we saw your friend, Drew. But it wasn't exactly him anymore. You mean... He, he was one of them? We're so sorry, Gabe. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you? I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? What are we gonna tell him? I want to say something good. Tell him we'll find him. Somehow, we're all gonna see each other again. I like that. I'm gonna write it right now, so we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Thank you. Really.
Dad? Javi! Is that really you? <laughs> I always hoped I'd find you. I... I thought you were dead, man. I, I thought you'd been dead for, for a long time. No such luck. I knew you were still alive. I knew it! Hey, weapons down! This is my family! You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David. I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot. And we got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. What the fuck is she on the ground for? She's barely got a pulse. She's cold as fucking ice. How are you just gonna leave her here like this? He said we had to kneel. I couldn't hold on to her. The fuck you trying to prove, Max? They're outsiders, David. It's what we do with everybody. She's coming inside. But she hasn't been checked. Fuck that. This is my wife. I... I didn't know. Honest. She's going to the hospital. Now. Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. Fine. Let's just get this over Hobby. with. Make my job easy, would you? Listen to your friend. <sighs> Whatever you say. Let's go! To think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Please, tell me they found her. Well, luckily we found her before she got any worse. They just took her to the hospital. I can't believe no one went to look for her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond. Their new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Hey. Nobody's more surprised than me. I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but he did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? The way you two acted around each other. Let's just say it's complicated, all right? Maybe it's my fault for jumping to conclusions. Makes sense you'd be so close considering... Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott, Javi, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Javi. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it... That's one hell of an accusation. Saying he had his own family shot? You really believe he'd do something like that? After seeing how he was with Kate? Could be he was just putting on a show for us. That's crazy. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along? 
he seemed happy enough to see you up there. At least at first. No matter what he might show to other people, he's got a good heart. Might be buried under a ton of shit, but it's in there. Well, let's just hope he's the same guy you remember. If your brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just gonna let things slide. I've never really been an eye for eye kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say. For now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. Come on already, Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. Lead the way. Gladly. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip, just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi, just go. I'll put in a good word for you, okay? See if we can't hurry the process along a bit. Thanks. along with them for now? That doesn't sound good. We have a process. Our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for troublemakers here. I hope that's clear. No problem. You won't have to worry about them. Didn't sound that way. They just need time to get used to things. I hope you're right. Come on. Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. He shouldn't have done that. I wanted to tell you myself. Bad news is bad news. Who cares who delivers it? He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Oh. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? Mariana saw things that other people didn't. She, uh... She told me she wanted to write down her memories to keep them alive after she was gone. Sounds like her. Always was a dreamer. How? How did she die? Tell me how it happened. Please, I need to know. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this?
went down out there. I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. Same assholes killed a hostage at this town, Prescott. Prescott? At the airstrip? Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger, what the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor, keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. Try not to stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. I can be impressive when I try. I'll follow your lead. Just don't get cute. I run security here. But it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Who's the fresh meat? Ava. This is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <laughs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? Welcome to civilization. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ava. Oh, is it now? You didn't say he was a gentleman, David. That's because he's not. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. That woman, a fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house. At the start. I'm sorry I never found you. We waited for you. For three months. Eventually the house was overrun and we had to move. Why didn't you come back? Mama and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor Mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama and everyone else, I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. I'm not gonna lie. I never thought you had it in you. The day Dad died, I promised I'd stick around. Be there for the family. Well, came my word. It took the end of the world, but you finally grew up. This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. I'm not staying long. Hey! Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi. Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. You know me. I'm always okay. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. A damn fine walker. I'm pretty sure you have to say that. Doesn't make it not true. Uh, what, you okay? Uh, my... oh, shit. I'll get the doc. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you, alone. I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die, everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? 
Yeah, I know what you mean. This place gives me the creeps. <sighs> I'm glad to hear that. I was afraid you'd been won over by the security here. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. We can't let ourselves get locked in. I hear you, Kate. But we can't just turn our backs on this place. On my brother. Javi. We have to try to make it work. I used to say that about my fucked up marriage. Guess it still applies. Whatever. Just please. Please don't leave me alone for too long. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills 9 out of 10. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. That would be Eleanor. One of my friends you threw in quarantine. Well, she's no use to anyone there. We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him. look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel like I'm home at last. I hope Richmond can become your home. I know David would like that. And nothing pleases me more than seeing families reunited. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi. Take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden? <laughs> or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Everything looks so good, I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please. Forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. I always do what I'm told. I ask my older brother. 
You're gonna fit in well, Javi. I can see that already. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. Quite a sight, isn't it? David's soldiers all have it. It's a clear sign of commitment to the group. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer, it, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim, one worth fighting for. Max? What are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. Did you steal gas from us? I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. You just asked. We'd have given it to you. That... that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. Clementine? Girl we had trouble with in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. I would say not. What's your problem with Clementine? You got a lot of hate for a teenage girl. We kicked her out for a reason. Now you two are thick as thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. You think I'm bad? You have maniacs running around out there who are much, much worse. I'm not sure what you mean. We hold our people to the highest standards. Javi? You have something to say? No. That's it. That's right. He knows what he done. There ain't nothing more to say. Uh, it's clear your brother doesn't belong here. Javi and his people have to go. You're overreacting. It was a scuffle over supplies. Uh, we've exiled people for less. Sorry, David. Your soldiers are already wild enough. We can't add more crazy to the mix. Take Javi and everyone in quarantine to the gate. Give him a pack with a bare minimum to survive. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend too. But the rest of you... 
You're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive. Okay? I don't gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? David packed this. He did. They said... Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! This isn't her fault, Trip. You're mad at the wrong person. Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. We trusted you. Everything was going okay. At first, I don't know what happened back there. Yeah, well, I got a pretty good idea what's gonna happen out here. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could've just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What's that? It looks like a map. I doubt they give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear. Pretty sure David wants us to go there. We don't even know where the hell we are on this thing. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. That's where we are. And that's where we need to go. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. Is that it? Uh, I remember something about it facing toward the Little Dipper. There. The end of the Little Dipper. No. That's the Big Dipper. That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Let's go. Trip, come on. What's up? I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. It's too much. You won't lose anyone else. I won't let that happen. I'm gonna hold you to that, Hobby. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know you got my back. And I got yours. Of course. After you.
I gotta tell you, man, I thought you and Kate were, you know. I mean, I saw you kiss her in the junkyard. And uh, I ain't judging, mind you, I'm just curious. What's the story? Ain't my business, I know, but what have we got to lose out here? I... Hey, man, it's all right. Go for it. I do have feelings for her. Maybe I shouldn't, but that doesn't just make them go away. Uh, no harm in saying it. Hell, only real harm's in not saying it when you should. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you. If they're one and the same or otherwise. You know what I mean? No, well, if it wasn't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Just saying, man. Three things that never hide forever. The sun, the moon, and the truth. Eleanor and I, we were... something at some point. But nothing now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. What you got for us, man? Listen. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Alive, people. I got him. with this. We're even now. I thought you were getting out of here. I was. The walkers are everywhere. I had to cover myself in walker guts to get away. Come on. We're heading to a factory nearby. Should be safe. I thought you were going to Richmond. New Frontier kick you out? Doesn't surprise me. Not one bit. Not all of us. Kate and Gabe are still there. With David. David? That asshole's still around? This is gonna sound really weird, but... He's my brother. What? Wait. This place we're going? David sent you there? It's supposed to be safe. Clem! You can't trust him, Javi. I learned that the hard way. 
I never wanted to need people again, but I had nowhere else to go. The New Frontier gave me this and made me one of them. They promised they'd help him. That turned out to be a lie. Clown. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? I'm... I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin. That's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you. It could save someone's life if used right. It's the only thing that can save him. Except it can't. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I... I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. Clem, put the drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. You know what they do to thieves here. I'm sorry, Goofball. He's right. This will only make things worse. You shouldn't be over here. What is that in your hand? What are you doing? Please tell me this isn't what it looks like. You know these supplies are off limits. Don't worry about it. I'm already putting them back. Oh, Clem. How could you? I said I'm putting them back. Yeah, right. She's a goddamn thief. What's going on here? We caught her trying to take those drugs. What the hell, Clem? We already did everything we could for that boy. How could you betray our trust like this? After everything we've done for you? You say that, but if AJ dies, it's on me. I'm the one who's left alone. Not you. So that gives you the right to ransack our fucking stores? Easy, David. You were told those drugs wouldn't help. That waste? That'll cost someone's life down the road. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. 
You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. There's no place for you in the New Frontier. You know what? Fuck you. And fuck the New Frontier! You already did. That's why you have to go. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Can't take him with you. That ship has sailed. I'm not leaving without him. AJ can't travel. All we can do now is make him comfortable. I'm not leaving without him. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. It's what's best for both of you. No! You monsters! What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, then you go. I'm sorry, AJ. I wish I could do more for you. Come on, Clem. circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. push against this, it might give. Gotta find a way in. Here they come. I can... Uh, fuck! I can raise it a little, but... Uh, something's wrong with it. Jammed or some shit. Maybe we can force it open. We're gonna have to. Locked. Shit. Look for another way in. It's our only chance. Oh man, this thing ain't as strong as we thought. Hurry it up. Nothing useful in here. Well, there's a car. With no wheels. Shit! God damn it!
in. Won't go any higher. Everyone get in. Close. Hopefully that door holds him. Hey, I'm here! David! Don't you dare let that fucking baby killer in! <laughs> Don't make me do this! Clem. Don't do it, Javi! He has a son, Clem. Just like you did. The fuck? Open it. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? Ask your brother. She's trouble. Trust me. She's with me. I owe her my life. She told us some pretty rancid stuff about you, man. What did she say? That you left her to die. No, we kicked her out. A little girl, all alone out there. Do you think Mariana could have survived that? We had rules. Clem broke them. I would have done the same to anybody. She knew what would happen. Don't feel sorry for her. Everybody fucks up, man. What about forgiveness? We couldn't afford forgiveness. Did he suffer? Please. I have to know. No. I wouldn't have let him. But I didn't have to worry about that. He lived, Clem. He lived. But how? He was dying. Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than we thought. It was... a miracle. You're lying. I don't know, Clem. I don't think he'd lie about this. You don't know him like I do. Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. Then I'm going back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? We used to store vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? And say goodbye. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. They'll be safe with me. Wait. This is a send-off? You're, you're just seeing me on my merry way. You think I want this? Well, you're not doing much to stop it. I don't see another way. <laughs> Shit! Board it up. <laughs> We need something to buffer. Something heavy. There! Help me! Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. What the 
hell is all this? These could come in handy. Don't want to just take them, but... I might be going crazy, but... I think these came from Prescott. That's Phantom Punch. I don't understand how all this got here. Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts, for emergencies. Your people looted this stuff from Prescott, David. Come on, we can't know that. Who else knew about this place? Your outfit is the only one that gutted my town. This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here, too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. Take cover. Fuck him. I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. You sure as hell are stupid, ain't you? You only just realizing that now? I told you. Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting the wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're freaking rolling in it. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. That shit is the new gold. And now we get to see your head pop, you piece of shit. David! I thought better of you, Max. I really did. David, come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for... <laughs> <laughs> He's getting away! Go! Get Badger! that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do. that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do.
<laughs> Fucking Garcias. Oh, you, you, you shook my goddamn guts out. Um, um, fuck. You brought this on yourself, Badger. You had it coming a long time. <laughs> Bring it then. See if I can. See if I give a shit. Get it over with. Come on. What are you waiting for? We've got to move. No point drawing it out. <laughs> Enough, man. He's gone. Inside Richmond. Joan was in on it. We did it on her orders. She she said we needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. I'm I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please, don't kill me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. Expose her to the others. Maybe he'll be useful. Thank you. Thank you. I needed that. Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan... Wasn't there one more? Oh. What? It's good riddance. That son of a bitch killed Mariana. Did that make you feel better? I wouldn't shed any tears if I were you. Maybe I'm shedding them for your brother. Hold on to that doubt. Javi's earned my trust. And if any of you had any brains, you'd say the same. I'm sure you did the right thing. Sometimes there's just no other way to make things right. My friend took a crowbar to someone once. My people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm surprised you care. Human life isn't exactly high on your list of priorities. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sooner the better. You sure you won't stay? We need your help. So do others. I won't forget about you. You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. One step at a time. We need to get back to Richmond fast. I have loved ones in there. We both do. We all do. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. You said it yourself. If it ain't messy, it wouldn't be important, right? We're gonna need allies in Richmond. 
Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. Fine, but I expect first-class treatment when we're done. No more quarantine for me or my friends. Just the red fucking carpet. Of course. Whatever you need. Let's just get this done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on. We gotta get on the move. Herd's closing in. This will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. They'll be keeping an eye out for us. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. I'm with you, Clem. He rubs me the wrong way. As soon as I get Kate and Gabe, I'm gonna figure out what's best for us. Well... Huh? I hope it involves getting far away from here. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. See you when I see you. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. You know Javi Garcia? Used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. We gotta go ninjas way back in here and stir up trouble. We go yeah, in, we get L, we get Kate and Gabe, we get out. Right. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? What the fuck? Shit, we need to get the fire crew or that shit could burn down the block. Couldn't have just taken out a window. Did the trick, didn't it?
Find Elle. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Harvey! We thought you were... I was... super worried. Like, a lot. Hey, buddy. I'm fine. I'm just fine. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble, like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you wanted to try it here, but this isn't our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. The only thing I care about is keeping you safe. Then you know we can't get involved. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? What about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. We're gonna go to David's house. Javi! It's the best bet we got. It's all we got. I've got a gun in the room they gave me. Sounds like we might need it. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Sounds good. Don't. It's okay, buddy. She's mad at me. Not you. No, it's not that. It's... You'll think it's stupid. What's up? I just wish Clementine was still with us. We ran into her. Really? I hope she came back with you. I... I wish she was around. I know, I know, she's tough, but... I don't know. It'd be nice to hear she's alright. If we run into her, she could really use a friend right now. Yeah. Me too. We need to go. Okay? Okay. You know this is what David lives for, right? What? A brawl. I only ever saw him truly happy when he was talking about being at war. The world going to shit? I guarantee. That was the best day of his life. He gets to live life on the front line. He definitely could get pretty warlike from time to time. My jaw still aches occasionally. No, I'll bet it does. Took your damn time. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. He's gonna need our help. We gotta get on the move. 
He's waiting for us. There's no more time to lose. Get them to safety first. Then we can go. This is the best way to protect them. They'll be safe here. Don't worry. I'll come back for you. Both of you. You better. I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. Javi! Kate and Gabe? Safe. I knew I could count on you, brother. We're gonna fix this. Together. I did what you asked. You better not make me regret it. What's going on here? We're just getting started. You smuggled your brother into Richmond despite what we agreed. Clearly, you have no respect for any of us. This is serious, David. You know we can't let this go. You don't deserve respect. Not after the things you've done. What things? What's this all about? She's been ordering raids on peaceful communities. Sending your men to murder and loot. Raiding? Joan, is this true? Do... Uh, do I really need to answer that? That's a serious charge. You come in swinging, you better have proof. Here's our proof. This lowlife was part of the raids. I... Well, Max... What do you have to say? We had a deal, Max. Your life for the truth. I didn't forget. Then what are you waiting for? Me, Badger, and Lonnie, we ran the ops. Off Joan's orders. God damn it, Max. I'm washing my hands of this, man. Joan. How could you? The real question is, how could I not? What would happen to us without your fertilizer, Clint? Or your pills, Paul? Do you think our community would survive? I did what I had to, to ensure that we would. It wasn't easy. So you survived. But at what cost? Do you even know how much suffering you've caused? I've no doubt it's less than I've prevented. All of you remember the winter. How much we lost. Friends. Lovers. Children. I made a promise I would never let that happen again. The raids were just to keep us going till Richmond reached sustainability. We're so close. So close to our dream. Do we really want to risk it all by fighting amongst ourselves? We should all be on the same side of this, David. On Richmond's side. Surely you can see that. She's fucking delusional. Building a dream on the blood of innocence. You don't have to tell me, brother. We lost Mariana to those raids. How many others lost their kids, too? I'm sorry, David. It breaks my heart about your child. It's... It's something I'm going to have to live with. Take them! What the hell? Put them in a cell until I can figure out what to do with them. Don't you fucking touch me! That's an order! They don't take orders from you anymore, David. You're done here. You put yourself before the group. You won't get away with this, Joan. All of this will come back on you eventually. Paul, come on. I'm sorry. My hands are tied. This is not over, Joan. I have friends here. Allies. 